Hi guys, welcome back to my video and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we cook a stuff curry. This is a simple and flavor packed recipe. You guys have messaged me many times and I'm going to show you today how to cook it. There are hundreds of recipes for a stuff curry. You can play about the ingredients. I'm cooking it with a lamb, but feel free to cook it with the vegetables or a chicken. The base stays the same. You can play about ingredients and see what works for you. The main focus is on the freshness of the flavors. The, this curry is packed with loads of flavors and I'm going to show you how you can bring about the, the limeness and the flavors in your cooked stuff curry. I am cooking this with the lamb. I have curry cuts of lamb and uh, you can get them from a butcher. It's really important that you use bones because the bones will add uh, additional flavor but choice is up to you. The silkiness comes from the gelatin present in the bones and the bone marrow adds an additional uh, massive flavor into the stuff curry. I'm also going to be using cloves, cinnamon and black cardamom. And for my powder spices, I have coriander powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder, garam masala, and red chili powder and salt. And I have uh, chopped uh, my ginger, my garlic, some fresh chilies of ginger, green chilies, sliced onions, loads of onions, and sliced tomatoes. You can add any whole spices of your choice, but the most important flavors with the lamb to go with our cinnamon the black cardamom and cloves. These three flavors are absolutely essential for cooking a lamb curry of any sort. The cinnamon, the black cardamom and the cloves add a, a warmth, a, a very a pleasant warmth and it brings out the best of the lamb. When your pan is hot uh, with the oil, add the cloves, cinnamon sticks and black cardamom. I've crushed the uh, black cardamom so that um, the flavors are extracted easily. Fry them on a low flame until you hear a, a nice crackling or uh, a nice aroma you can smell and uh, and then add your lamb. Stir it properly for about 3 to 4 minutes because what it does it, it's, it's going to lock all the juices inside the lamb and uh, it helps the lamb to stay moist and tender. So once it's sealed, I'm going to add onions and then stir everything together. Keep stirring your lamb and onions. We want them to cook them together. This is unlike any other recipe of mine where we cook onions before and then add with ginger and garlic, but this is a stock curry. Trust me, by the time the lamb will be cooked, your onions will have disappeared. Keep stirring until your onions are nicely fried. It might take a little bit longer, but this is the way to cook a staff curry. So I've been stirring this for about five to six minutes and you can see the lamb is sealed and the onions are nicely fried. And at this stage, add roughly chopped garlic and roughly chopped ginger and keep cooking on a medium flame. After three or four minutes, my garlic and ginger have nicely fried and uh, I'm going to add turmeric powder, red chili powder, garam masala, cumin powder, and coriander powder. Now give it a stir and keep cooking. Now put the flame down and let it cook for about three to four minutes. Uh, pan roast it gently with all the spices. You don't want to burn them and then we'll add our tomatoes and other ingredients. When you cook your lamb with the spices like this, it adds another dimension of flavor into the curry. This is why everybody loves stock curry. This is a rustic way of cooking curry. Fry it or roast it in the pan for about good 5 to 10 minutes. Once the lamb is nicely roasted in the pan, uh, I'm going to add the potatoes. You can add any wedge of your choice and give it a stir. So there are no set tools, uh, you could add uh, potatoes, you could add uh, spinach or any other leafy vegetable with the lamb goes brilliantly well. If you decide to cook potatoes with the lamb, I recommend that you use red potatoes or golden potatoes simply because they are very waxy 
and uh, the texture is really really creamy so after three or four minutes add tomatoes and to help tomatoes cook faster add salt now stir everything together So once you have added your tomatoes, your lamb has uh, cooked for a while. You can see uh, there's a lot of water coming uh, out of uh, tomatoes and the lamb and potatoes. So you don't need to add any water at this point. Cover your pan, keep your fire gentle and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Do not add any water at this stage. Keep your flame gentle, very, very low. We want to be cooking this on a slow flame, slow fire. So uh, there's the water uh, coming out of uh, tomatoes, potatoes and lamb. At this stage, Put the lid on and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes without disturbing it. Lamb's been cooking for 10 minutes and now I'm going to open the lid. And uh, you can see there's a lot of water uh, still coming out of it. So uh, we want to be cooking the lamb in its own juices. But scrape bottom, go down and see nothing should be sticking to the bottom because uh, that will ruin the sauce, that will ruin our lamb and then cover the pan and let it cook for another 10 minutes without adding any water. The staff curry is all about slow cooking. When you cook a, a lamb or a chicken with the bones uh, and on a gentle flame, a very, very low flame covered, it helps the, to get the best flavors out of lamb or a chicken. So it's really, really important that you keep your flame low and use as less as water as possible just to get the best flavors of a lamb. Lamb must cook on its own juices and lamb cooks on a slow and gentle flame. It brings out all the gelatin, all the bone marrow, all the flavors out of lamb. That takes a lamb curry to a whole new level. And after another 10 minutes, uh, take a look, make sure that nothing is sticking at the bottom. And you can see the bottom is nice and clean and we haven't added any water. The curry uh, is cooking its own juices. The lamb's bringing out the base flavors. It's intensifying the flavors, basically. And um, and uh, take a look, and uh, it's, it's, it's coming out. It started to fall apart. It's uh, nearly ready, but I think it's going to take another uh, 10 to 15 minutes again. And cover it. Do not add any water again if it doesn't need. And cook it for another 10 minutes, and then take a look. And uh, after another 10 minutes, when you open the pan, you see the moisture has almost evaporated and uh, our lamb is still cooking. Give it a stir and make sure nothing is sticking at the bottom of the pan. And now add a little hot water. Just to dilute everything, uh, everything comes together. And let it simmer until the lamb is nicely done. After another 10 to 15 minutes, when you take a look, you have a beautiful lamb curry, the staff curry ready. And uh, if you see, the potatoes are nicely done. And this is what I meant when I said use the waxy potatoes. They are really, really good and uh, to check the doneness of a lamb you can see it's falling off the bone very very easily which means our uh, lamb is nicely done and the bone marrow from the bone of the lamb has added a new dimension of flavor and to finish off i'm going to add uh, sprinkles of uh, julian ginger some fresh coriander fresh chilies and garam masala Stir. All right, guys, this was my lamb staff curry, and I hope you love the recipe. Do give it a go, do let me know how you get on. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and until my next video, keep cooking.